Today News 4 went to Jefferson County to talk with businesses about how they're operating now that the county has jumped to red status in terms of COVID-19. The county health department says they are concerned they are experiencing quote widespread uncontrolled community transmission of the coronavirus. One business owner told us today her key to making things work in all of this is listening to her customers. Twisted Blade Barbershop in Arnold doesn't require customers to wear masks. It's not a mandate right now in Jefferson County. They come in here honestly and they're like, oh my goodness, I have to wear a mask? No, not unless you, you, you know you want to. No, thank goodness. You know, that's what we get and probably a huge majority, 95% maybe. Owner Becky Sandrowski says she believes in free choice, but she and other workers will wear a face covering if that's what a patron prefers. They do what makes their customers feel comfortable. She says they are constantly cleaning and sanitizing and their stations are at least eight feet apart. On top of that, they offer private appointments. Well, we're closed on Sunday, Mondays, so I offer a really quiet setting if they need it, private one-on-one. -on -one. While Twisted Blade hasn't had a COVID-19 case, the Jefferson County Health Department says the county is averaging about 50 new cases a day and has a positivity rate of 13.6%, which is why the health department is really drawing attention to COVID-19 in the county with a red alert. Sandrowski says she'll keep doing things the way she has been because it's working. If we shut down, we're done. I mean, and that's any small business. And I, you know, I know people make this about health or small business, but you know, when your life's in it, your life's in it. This is, you know, we work too hard and things are going well because we, we listen to our customers, what makes them feel comfortable. So, and it's working. The health department says most of the new cases are in young people. At this point, they are not suggesting schools or businesses close in Jefferson County, but they are asking people to avoid travel as well as to avoid large gatherings. News